But in this role play, I'll be playing the role of a father who has stimulated great pain for his daughter. And I'll be using nonviolent communication and demonstrating how empathic connection is used in a nonviolent communication way. My daughter will not be speaking nonviolent communication. So, usually this kind of work begins when I ask the other person, in the role of the person who stimulated the pain, to tell me what's still alive in you that you would like me to hear. And don't worry about how I receive it. I'm now learning how to respond empathically, so I won't respond as I have in the past. So let's start with that. Daughter, I'm confident that I can empathically connect with whatever you want to say. So please tell me what's still alive in you as a result of our prior relationship that you'd like me to hear. I feel worthless and I feel totally rejected by all the men that I touch. I want to be in a relationship. I've been through two divorces and I do not know how to even connect with any man because of you. When I would come to you for any kind of a need that I really wanted you to listen to, you immediately would either interrupt and would the first word that would come out of your mouth was that I deserved it and I was totally a no good stupid idiot and I was a worthless female girl. All those names are still haunting me. Every time any man that I have a relationship with is tries to get close to me, I don't trust them because of you. It's all because of you and I'm, I'm just beyond. That's what's alive right now is that I don't know where to go. I'm 30 years old. I've been through two divorces and I'm miserable and alone. Well, I want to be sure that I'm taking all of that in, daughter. That's very precious, and I'm grateful to you for willing to open up. But I want to be sure I'm hearing you. So what I'm hearing is that there's still a great deal of pain in you, hurt, that your need for respect wasn't met by the way I would respond to you at times. And as a result of that, you're feeling rather desperate about how it's affecting your present relationships with other men and how it's keeping you from getting your needs for closeness met. Am I hearing you correctly? I'm just right now burning with steam for you to even say precious. I feel cheated by all that you said. Yes, you are hearing me, but at the same time, I'm doubting you. I, I don't trust you. So in addition to those feelings, I'm hearing there's still a great deal of rage on your part because uh, what I did was hard for you to see in any way except as something that was a violation of you. And then I'm hearing that it's hard for you to trust right now, even when I'm trying to understand you in this way. You'd like some understanding how hard it is for you to trust me now since this is different than I've communicated to you in the past. Yes, I, I feel all the put-downs and all the criticism of, of from the time I would want to sit in your lap. You didn't even want me to even get close to you. And I felt there was something wrong with me, that I was totally a mess. I grew up feeling like this worthlessness of not being even visible. I wanted you. I wanted you to, to look at me. You overpowered me from the time I was little. So, daughter, what I'm hearing is that still exists in you a great deal of hurt that your need to feel valued wasn't met in our relationship. And you're still carrying this, this pain in you that whatever is you will not really meet with acceptance. Am I hearing this correctly? Yes, you are. Yes. 
it's about that shame that I still have inside. Every time I think about wanting to even think about you, I start feeling all this guilt that you always would put on me, especially when I would come home from school and something would happen and you would turn it around and, and hit me and get the belt and just leave me on the floor and didn't care whether I was crying and if I cried even a little bit louder, then you would come and hit me more so that I would shut up. So you're still suffering the, the pain of those times when you really needed understanding. You got quite the opposite. Instead of being understood for what was bothering you when you were crying, you heard a criticism, you felt you received punishment, and you'd like me to be aware of how that has affected you, that it's leaving you now feeling scared to reveal yourself. Am I hearing you correctly? Yes, you are. Yes, I can, for the first time, hear that you, you are hearing, you are listening. I'd like then to tell you, daughter, what goes on in me when I hear this. If you're willing for me to talk now, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. I, I, I hope I can. First thing I want you to hear is how sad I am, just deeply, deeply sad that I would have liked to have met your need for acceptance, and, and I would have liked for your, you to feel safe around me. So I'm really sad that I didn't know how to express myself differently when you were young. But I was so caught up in pain myself in my relationship with your mother and with other people, so caught up in that pain, and I didn't know how to talk about it with people. And I'm sad that it would come out toward you and toward the other children. Could you tell me what you heard me say so I can see if I made myself clear? What I heard you say is that you are sad for not being able to to be there for me, that you were caught up in your own pain with whatever was going on with you and Mom. And when we wanted you to be just there and loving us, you could not do that. So your sadness right now is very, I'm hearing that. I never heard that before. I was just scared of you. And I very much am grateful for you hearing me this way. And I'd like to know how you feel when I tell you this. I'm relieved. I'm relieved because I thought I had done something wrong. And I'm sad for you. I'm so sad that I didn't know a way of expressing my pain that wouldn't have left you feeling there was something wrong with you. I wish I could have just said at that time, I'm in so much pain, daughter, it's hard for me to hear you cry. Or I wish I could have done anything except communicate in the way that would contribute to your feeling that you weren't valued. So I'm grateful to you for having this dialogue with me now. 